You had Lynn as dorm director? So yeah. when Lynn was my RD, I was in my room. I decided to take a mental health day, I took a day off of classes, yeah. and said I was gonna drink and play my guitar. It's probably about 11 a.m. I had earplugs in, and I had this thing cranked to nine out of 10. Electric. Electric, yeah, no. and I was playing just, I was having a great time. I was riffing, I was having a blast. And all of a sudden I turn, and my door is open, and here's Lynn yelling at me, but I can't hear her, because I have my earplugs in and the guitar's going, so I keep playing, and she's waving her hands, and finally she just comes in and she unplugs everything, and she goes, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> it's 11.30 in the morning. She takes my guitar amp and she walks away with it. You now, actually confiscated the, this his guitar This is a 65-watt PV amp yeah. that weighs probably about 55 pounds. She just picks it up and just carries it away. And it was one of those things where now I'm sitting here with a guitar and it's not plugged into anything, and now I feel like an ass. <laughs> I'm looking around and I'm like, oh, shit. But, Did you but, think, okay, that you were possibly I never, interfering with it, somebody else's it, fucking it privacy? Never crossed my mind. Oh, are we, are we too? Well. Okay, are we too late? Brownie. What was the end of that story? The end of that story is I eventually had to come to it? Jesus and ask brownie you for it back, and you made, you, really? you made me you promise to be quiet. Why? You made me promise to be quiet. Poster child for quiet hours. Poster child for quiet hours. Kind of hoping we.